Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Today we're going to do some cooking on the rocket stove. If you've not seen my video on how to build your own DIY rocket stove, I'll leave it linked in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get a fire lit and get this video going. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to do is the fire chamber is in, further in. And to start the fire, I'm just going to remove the outer block. Alright guys, so I'm using a fire starter. Oh, y'all see me haul those. I'm just going to place a little TP of my sticks inside and then we'll um, get it lit and get it started. Alright, so now I'm just going to give my fire starter, get those lit up and going. Once we get it taken off, move Lily, get back. I'll put the brick back in front where I can feed more wood into it. All right, as you can see, the fire is starting to start. I'm going to move my brick back in front. Now, to feed your fire, we're going to come in through this side right here. Oh. All right, we got the fire going, so let's get to cooking. I'll put my cast iron skillet on top. You notice I had a trivet on top. You can use a, like a small uh, like oven rack on it. Um, any kind of um, heat-resistant rack that you want to put on top to set your pan on. All right, tonight is taco night, so we're gonna fry up some ground beef and make taco meat. All right, I've got my cast iron skillet on there. I'm gonna let it warm for just a minute. Y'all, rocket stoves do cook at a relatively high heat, so keep that in mind. Don't ever put any of your nonstick pans or anything like that on a rocket stove. Um, yeah, all right, so let me get the ground beef in the pan and we'll get it going. All right, as you can see, it's starting to get to cooking moving in and grooving and doing its thing there will be no time flat and we're going to be eating tacos i'll bring you back in just a few minutes all right as you can see here it's cooked up pretty nicely i'm going to strain the oil off of this the grease off of this and i'll bring you back all right now that i got the uh, ground beef drained in a situation you could use your your home canned ground beef or you could even use your um, ground beef that you bought at the store so now that that's all browned up I like to stretch mine let me get, get I'll be right back all right I like to stretch mine I like to add black beans to mine I put juice and all but you can rinse them if you choose to in a situation you might not want to you might need those juices I'm also going to add a package of taco seasoning I used about a half a pound of beef when I cooked this and this turns this into a big old batch that could easily feed about four people. There you go. As you see, it's just a bubbling away. Almost done. It's taco night, y'all. So, y'all, if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to ask you to please give me a thumbs up. And please leave your tips and tricks in the comments below. Um, this was my first time cooking on a rocket stove. I'm not, not going to lie. I was pretty intimidated by it. But, um... Because of friends encouraging me, um, I made it through and it wasn't that bad. It's pretty much easy peasy, y'all. Um, so yeah, this is a great way to cook when a, a situation, when all your other resources are gone, um, you got the rocket stove. All right, y'all, keep on keeping on and I'll see you next time back at Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Bye, everyone.